what has impressed me is this work of Francisco um, Torrent Guasp. Guasp believed that the entire ventricular muscle was one long rope-like muscle fiber and he dissected it out like this. And uh, we have a basal loop and a apical loop. The basal loop has a right segment and a left segment. The right segment is between the pulmonary um, artery and winds around in its attachment to the tricuspid valve. The left segment winds around circularly around in the LV, around the mitral valve. The apical segment is the outer layer of the left ventricle. The right ventricle has one layer, the left ventricle has two. This apical loop has a descending segment going around the apex and an ascending segment finishing off with the aortic valve. So we start from the pulmonary valve and go right to the aortic valve. This is the dissection out in stages in muscle. That's Torren Guasp's work himself. And the whole thing as a rope is being shown in this picture. The, at the apex, the superficial epicardial fibers become subepicardial around a point. Um, it, this defines a virtual orifice and this is called the Guasp's point. This is the same point dissected out a little bit more. It is through this that one would enter when you do a close mitral valvotomy and perhaps an apical tavi. So this is the Guasp's point. This is an animation to show systole diastole in all these ropes. This, this is our attempt at what Dr. Guasp had done. This is the right ventricle, this is the left ventricle. The pulmonary artery with the pulmonary valve as we are opening it out. This is the right limb. This is the aortic valve. This is the ascending loop. That's the descending loop. And this is the inner circular fibers. So this is what Dr. Guasp had done. And this is our dissection to show you the layers of the left ventricular and the right ventricular muscle.